To make Epsom salts frost crystals, take half a cup of hot water and add to it a third of a cup of Epsom salt. Mix the two together until the crystals dissolve. You may need to warm the solution in a microwave for 30 seconds to a minute to get it hot enough for the liquid to completely dissolve the crystals. Take one drop of dishwashing soap and spread it around over the surface of an 8 by 10 inch sheet of glass. This does two things. First, it protects the glass so that it's easier to wash the crystals off when you're done. And second, and most importantly, it breaks down the surface tension of the crystal solution so that you can spread it out in a thin sheet. Crystal formation is determined by evaporation of the water. So the thinner the sheet you have, the faster the crystals will form. Once the dish soap is spread around, take one teaspoon of the crystal solution, place it in the center, and very gently spread it over the entire surface. Without the soap, it would tend to bead up and form small areas uh, where the uh, solution is concentrated instead of a thin, uniform sheet. And that's it. 30 minutes to an hour later, you should see the sheet of glass completely covered with crystals. The exact amount of time will depend on the temperature and the humidity and whether or not you have any airflow blowing across the crystals. If you look closely, you can see several different patterns. Up in this area, we have what look like uh, grass or branches growing down. In this area, we have circles growing outward. What's interesting about these crystals is that once they're made, they're fairly durable. You can rub them quite vigorously and they're not going to break. Here's a close-up of what some of the crystals look like. As you can see, they will form a wide range of different patterns. Adding food color to the mix at the rate of about 10 drops per tablespoon will result in colored crystals. Because of the addition of the water in the food coloring, they may take a few more minutes to form. You can even do multiple colors. Each blotch here is about one quarter teaspoon of dyed Epsom salt solution spread around in a circle. By swirling them together, you can create much more interesting patterns.